Hey guys, in this episode of Great Habits for Great Men, we're going to be talking about the habit of messaging one person every day, every single day. Before you recoil in horror, this need only be something that lasts 30 seconds, one minute. You can email someone, you can social media connect with someone, you can DM someone, you can call someone up, you can do a Skype video chat. Whatever it is, whatever the form of communication it is, the habit of reaching out to someone, ideally someone you would have otherwise not connected with that day, because obviously it doesn't really count if you're reaching out to a friend that you like to chat to every day anyway. So it's somebody new. And think about the opportunities that this kind of activity will generate, um, let alone the self-confidence and the discipline that this creates. You can be reaching out to potential new mentors, people who will answer tricky questions about the career that you want to pursue or the business that you're trying to expand. Um, it's a great way to generate warm connections with potential clients, create new clients, um, check in with old clients and possibly re-establish work with older customers and clients. You can talk to people on your newsletter, you can talk to people on your own connections lists and just maintain and expand new networks with new interesting people. You don't necessarily need to have full-blown essay length conversations with people. It's really what I'm talking about is the habit of simply checking in with someone, saying that how, how you're doing, just connecting and stirring up that network that so many of us allow grow stagnant and there's a huge amount of power in moving beyond the confines of your own sort of self relationship the relationship that we all have with ourselves that tends to um, be quite limiting obviously there's a lot that we can do ourselves but having those connections with other people is going to open up a whole new frontier for you in so many ways so mentors expanding business um, opening up potential um, speaking engagements and podcast interviews. It could be uh, reaching out to potential joint venture partners for future sales you might have. And a lot of these connections are going to be made without any awareness of what these relationships could turn into and what kinds of opportunities these could generate. But this is the nature of business. This is the nature of relationships is that it's much more important to commit to the idea of simply connecting with someone without any expectation, without any outcome. And of course, that leads to better relationships because people can sense if you have a clear agenda. And I think a lot of people, when they have something that they want to get done in their lives, if they have something they want to sell, they normally leave it to the last minute and start connecting with everyone at the last minute, trying to make all these connections, trying to make all these rather forced connections with people um, in order to achieve their own agenda. Whereas those of us, the very select few who don't do this, who have been building up slowly but surely a nice organic warm network of people from all corners of life who already know you. And after a point, if you need them for something, you just have to do a simple check in and say, this is what I'm doing. And because you've been in touch for such a long time and because you've generated this solid rapport with all these people, things become almost effortless. And I found this with work, with new clients, introducing new products to my newsletter list because I've been in touch with them over time. So many things have benefited in my own life from staying in touch with people. Whenever I have kept relationships going, rather than out of the blue, cold calling someone or cold connecting with someone or just sort of re-establishing something and then saying, look, this is what I'm trying to do. And people can smell that agenda. If I've kept a warm connection going with a, with a, a select group of people, these have always led to good things because the ball is already in motion. You want to keep that momentum going with your network. And one of the best habits that I've tried to stay consistent with, for the most part, is connecting with someone every day. It doesn't matter if it feels like the kind of person you don't really feel like talking to right now. Just do it. Just put up a list, put together a list of, of people that you could potentially reach out to who would be great connections for you. You might even want to start aiming high and start thinking about, okay, who are some really up there people in my in my career, in my potential industry that I want to work in who are really far up there who I could talk to. Potential um, clients, potential interview givers, there's so many different types of amazing people out there who could really strengthen your base and strengthen your career and business and everything else by simply just reaching out and getting into that habit. And it's not easy reaching out to particularly someone new 
and thinking of something to say that doesn't come across as needy or weird is a challenge for many and it takes practice but that's the whole point of this habit thing it's a great habit for men who are building their own businesses and looking to expand their ideas beyond their own four walls get into that habit reach out to someone new it just need be a short email a quick check-in with those that you already know watch how many opportunities come out of this watch how many amazing things start to happen in your life when you commit to the habit of connecting with one person every day and it's 30 seconds of your time think about that think about how 30 seconds to a minute to five minutes of your time every day and 365 new check-ins every year 300 plus people potentially new individuals that you could be talking to every year what's that going to do for your life what is going to happen in your life by connecting with people in that way and showing that you care, showing that you exist, sharing value, not, show, not trying to push anything, not trying to, trying to force anything, simply being there, being, being in touch. What kinds of cool things are going to happen? I know that many great things have happened. In fact, the best things that have happened in my life in terms of career and business certainly have been through maintaining those connections, reaching out to new people, suggesting new meetups, that kind of stuff. Try it for yourself. Let me know how you think the process has gone for you in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button and uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's video.